assalamu alaikum uh, welcome friends uh, this video is concerning uh, one important uh, transaction in the controlling module uh, controlling module of uh, sap s4 hana financials uh, as per the standard course outline the controlling module had to be covered in a bit detail but because of the covid 19 crisis and the resulting um, uh, uh, restrictions uh, the course content some of the course content has to be compromised so this is the only t code this is the only transaction uh, which we are doing in controlling module but this is very important transaction and this transaction controlling module you can see the controlling uh, group applications which have been selected for us in the controlling group over here but uh, this uh, particular transaction is not added over here so what we need to do is to we need to go to uh, the app finder and find the app so if you go to the app finder and you type over here line items then you will see there are many applications with this selection line items so you come down and you see uh, over here rather you just uh, type it display line items more easy to find with the display line items and so this is the application which I am talking about the display cost line items cost centers actual so first of all we select this app and we put it in say financial accounting because uh, we don't have done any application in controlling so I am putting it in the financial accounting so it's easy for me to find it out and then I can access it right from here or I can access it from financial accounting so let's access this application and let's see what happens so this application uh, before uh, doing it uh, hands-on uh, let me explain it that this application will show you department wise or to be specific cost, cost center wise expenses that have been posted by us or posted by anyone in this system in this, in this client so you recall that we have been debiting many expenses and sometimes revenues as well in cost centers and one of the cost centers that we have used is NA admin and double AD 1000 or 2000 I don't exactly remember the name so whenever we see any report in financial accounting that report is showing details of expenses document wise GL account wise vendor wise customer wise but that's not showing the details of the expenses cost center wise so if we want to to display the details of expenses or revenues uh, cost center wise then this is actually the report which is very useful so first of all the system will potentially ask you for the controlling area so you give the controlling area in a double zero and then once you give the controlling area the system will prompt you this screen over here we can select our cost center for example my cost center is n double ad 1000 and n double ad 1000 is this one uh, there is an nard 1000 but why i need this one those typically system should not show that NARD because I have specifically mentioned in WD but uh, anyway so this is the cost center I want and I can restrict uh, my selection to the cost element cost element we have discussed that these are the expense account so if we are interested in just a few cost elements then we can mention the cost element here but uh, we are right now interested in all the expenses posted to this cost center and selection date uh, probably if it is not uh, uh, exactly the same because normally it is for one month period so make it uh, 1st of January 2020 to 30th of April 2020 and keep all the other things blank and just execute and you would see a report of uh, uh, this uh, nature this uh, format and you see that uh, this is the cost element uh, the expense account titles this is the ex cost element name so these are the different expense account or revenue elements revenue accounts and this is the amount this is the total quantity if quantity has also been posted and uh, uh, this is the offsetting account that when this account was debited or credited minus sign denotes a credit plus sign denotes a debit then what was the corresponding account which was debited or credited so if this account has been debited sales uh, revenue share then the corresponding credit went to the bank account so this way 
uh, you can uh, search this report and you come down and you see that uh, there are many many expenses posted to this particular uh, cost center and we, if we still come down sometimes this report so this is the total uh, amount posted to this particular cost center so this particular cost center has been posted by a negative of 551557 it means there are more credits to this cost center than debits and you can see that sales revenues credits are much more heavier than the debits that's why the net uh, balance is credit. so uh, if i want uh, rather the report for all the cost centers not just this cost center then i go back and yes i want to exit and i remove this cost center so i keep all the things blank except the controlling area and the posting dates and then i execute and the system gives me a warning you have not selected any cost center fine i am okay with this warning so i press enter and the system shows me another report now this report uh, is a bit larger one uh, lengthier one rather to be more specific and you see this is the cost center admin and then we have details of other cost centers so there are many other cost centers posted and towards the end so these are the details for every cost center every cost center wise totals have been given and then at last we see the grand total so grand total is a negative credit uh, credit of 993 684.65 whereas every cost center's total debits or credits have been shown and within the cost center then the individual expenses have been shown that which expenses has been debited or credited so some important things to note about this report is that we can sort it for example if i want to sort it on uh, this value then i just click this column and then i want to sort it in the ascending order so this is the ascending order ascending order means negative first so from the highest negative to the highest positive but you see when we posted it in uh, we, we show we sorted it in the uh, amount uh, value then you see that the cost center wise totals are not not there now even the cost center name is not there now so towards the end you can just see the grand total similarly if you want to sort it say to the offsetting account then you select the offsetting account and you see you want to sort it on the offsetting account so now you see that it has been sorted to offsetting account and when something is not shown it means the it is actually there is no offsetting account against these ones and although it is difficult to grasp that why there is a credit but no corresponding debit but these are the secondary cost element and uh, this is something which we have not discussed so far this is within the controlling module transition and since we have compromised some of the content of controlling module therefore we cannot discuss it but you see from uh, this line onwards there are uh, the 108 to this is the rocky mountain bikes so uh, this is sorted on rocky mountain bikes then again rocky mountain uh, rocky mountain bikes and there are many vendors with this vendors and customers then these are all the bank accounts uh, posting to all the banks and these are for all the alternate banks if you want uh, uh, the cost center also to be visible over here for example the cost center names are not visible because we have sorted them and once we sorted the cost center wise totals have been removed the cost center names have been removed so there is one more important uh, 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 option here which is the change layout if you go there you can see that some of the columns which are displayed so these are the displayed columns and there are some hidden columns as well which so we can move some of the columns from here for example if we don't want for example the total quantity is something i don't want so i pass it to the hidden columns and cost center is something which i want so i pass it on the left hand side column the displayed columns and then i want cost center to be moved up so to be the very first column so i move it up one by one one after another so that it is uh, on the very left hand side of my report and uh, so i transfer and you see now i have a bit uh, different format of the and now what i can do is i can make totals by cost centers for example which is uh, which is known as a subtotal although we have the grand total over here so this is the grand total but i want subtotals by cost center so i just selected cost center and then i say this button subtotals now you will see that all these transactions are now for this particular cost center in double ad 1000 it is not repeated every in every row but it is the same cost center so the system has actually now summed up all the costs uh, of this cost center and 
so potentially we can see some total here so this is the total of this cost center right so you can see that the cost center admin is double five one double five seven and then we have other cost centers moving down and we have totals of every cost center in the yellow lines and uh, if we want the subtotals by rather the cost elements so we just select the cost elements and then we get the subtotals so now the subtotals are not by cost centers but they are now by cost elements cost elements means the expense account so the expense account revenue share has been debited only once but the expense account sales revenue has been debited many times and so forth and so on and so forth so you can see these are the totals for the sales revenue and these are the totals for other accounts and these are some german language accounts which have been posted and if I want the data to be sorted by cost center and cost element both together, then first I selected the cost center, then the cost element. And now I see it's subtotal. So now the system will subtotal by both. So first of all, the grand subtotaling is by cost center, but the subtotaling is by cost element. So the cost center admin has been debited by this cost element for 10,000 in total. And for sales revenue in this cost center, we can see that there are many transactions, but the total of the sales revenue can be seen going page down and somewhere here is the total of sales revenue, not for the entire report, but only for this cost center, right? So for the another cost centers, we can move on and we can see now that for payroll expense, this is an HR cost center. So maybe this payroll expense can be there in some other cost center as well, because this report has been sorted first on the cost element, subtotals, and then and the cost centers because we selected this column first and this column last. One last thing, uh, if we 